All right, so what is going on guys? We are back with another video. This is going to be the part two of my Project Destroyer video. If you saw the first one, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, go check it out. Uh, this is going to help you a lot with Project Destroyer on Shopify, but most importantly, really every bot on Shopify. Um, there are a ton of changes being made and uh, you know, all these bots are pushing updates and working very hard to get through this new Shopify protection that is out. Um, no one's really sure what it is. I think I have a good idea of what's going on, but we'll dive into that a little later in the video. Now, I'm gonna dive deeper into Shopify because I feel like this is where a lot of people are struggling and a lot of people are getting stuck. Now, this isn't going to be, you know, like I said in the last video, one of these little tutorials where I'm going to click all these and tell you what they are. No, I'm gonna show you exactly like, how to cop and how to really get this down. And the reason I'm releasing a part two of this is because I am getting a lot of questions in regards to, you know, some of the stuff I've already covered in the last video. Now, this is going to be a little different because there have been changes made to Shopify and we're gonna cover that in this video. The first thing that I wanna talk about is task creation. So what everybody should be doing on Project Destroyer creating your tasks exactly like I'm about to create mine here. Now, before I start doing this, I do want to say a few things really quick. No, I didn't forget to upload a live cop. I have a live cop coming. It's going to be next weekend, not this weekend. Um, it's going to be great. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. We're going to have a lot of drops. We're going to have uh, some pretty uh, weird unboxings, some shoes that you probably haven't seen in a long time or ever seen. And I'm going to be unboxing those and we're going to be, you know, just crushing it in the next live cop video. So you guys will really enjoy that. Um, and before we jump into this, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We hit a thousand subscribers. I'm super grateful for that. Do notice that like 20% of the people viewing my videos aren't subscribed. So if you can hit that subscribe button, it helps a ton. Now let's jump right into this. So with Project Destroyer, this is the way everybody should be creating their tasks. And listen, I strongly recommend, and I can't stress this enough, if you have good internet, if Project Destroyer can run on your local computer, please run Project Destroyer on your local computer, your local host or your actual computer. Don't run it on a server if you don't need to, okay? I run a lot of bots and I have Shopify bots on one server. I have Splash Force, is on, Splash Force on another server. I have Mech Prime on my main along with Splash Force. So I can't run all these bots on my local, um, but I do move back and forth. I do move my bots back and forth for specific drops. So if you can run your bot on local host, this is going to be the best move on Shopify right now. Now, what I mean by this is localhost is zero proxies, no proxies on your local computer, which will use your actual home IP as a proxy. So you can't go crazy on these tasks. Now I'm gonna jump in task creation now and how to create your tasks for a Shopify release. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this should happen when the Shopify drop starts. So the first thing we wanna do is say we're gonna go for a kit release, right? And say it's just going to be, uh, we'll just do Converse, right? I'm always gonna do super safe preload on Shopify, unless it is a site with a password page like Dover Street Market or Kith today had a password page up. I'm always going to use super safe preload. The only time you would run advanced, which is fast mode is when there's no bot protection up. But if you're just trying to learn botting, you really don't even want to mess with that. Just run super safe preload. Now I'm going to create a task. I always do random sizing and I always, uh, you know, I'll select my profiles. Now, if you've copped to the profile before, I strongly suggest using that same profile. You create a proxy group in your proxy section, create one named local, put no proxies in it. This is gonna be the first task I'm gonna create. I'm usually going to create one or two tasks with this. Do not create more than one or two, okay? Because you will get banned and you'll blow your opportunity of copying. I'm going to create two tasks with this. Then I'm going to diversify my tasks. I'm going to select maybe my unknown Shopify residentials. I'm gonna create one task with that. I'm gonna go down to maybe my unknown ISPs. I'm gonna create one task with that. I'm gonna go to my Oculus ISPs. I'm gonna create one task with that. And then I'm going to do, say, Leaf Residential. Say these were for Shopify, they're for foot sites, but say they were for Shopify. And I'm going to do that. I should have around six tasks created here. So if we scroll down, 
we see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six tasks. I have six tasks created. This is what I'm going to run on Shopify. And, and please guys, run it just like this because I wanna see you crush these releases. Um, you know, and, uh, and obviously I wanna see people happy with botting and not angry and disappointed and upset that they're not hitting. So run it just like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to select your best Gmails that you have. If you've run them on Shopify before and you're not getting like slow fading captures or anything crazy like that, or multi-level captures where it's very hard to solve one capture, you're going to wanna to run those Gmails in your solvers. Now, what I typically will do is I will open a checkpoint solver and then I will select either my other best Gmail for another checkpoint solver or, you know, the second to best. Um, or I'm sorry, not the second to best, like a decent one. So I always have, I, I try to always select the best Gmails I have for any Shopify release, obviously. If I if you don't have an amazing one, but you have one that's kind of working where it, may, it might take two solves to solve a CAPTCHA, it's okay, you can use that. I've caught many times like that. Do not use one that's just slow fading that's impossible to solve you know the checkpoint on because you won't hit anything um and you can open one or two checkout captures i usually will open two just to be on the safe side and i'll and i'll click checkout only now you have to do this if you're not doing this then you're not going to cop uh you have to create check it you have to click checkout only and you have to have checkout only unclicked on these. These are your checkpoint captures, these are your checkout captures like I went over in the last video. So what you're gonna wanna do on a Shopify release is usually what I'll do is I'll check these boxes so I can start all my tasks at once. Um, you know, delays are up to you, like I've said before, and like we'll jump into in the end of the video. It really comes down to your setup. I can't tell you what delays to run because I could be telling you the wrong information. So it really comes down to your setup. What I can tell you is you really don't wanna go low on delays and especially if you're running local host, try to keep it above 3000. Now, I'm gonna do 4000 delay, 444. Uh, actually, we'll just do 777 to start, right? Now, say it's about two minutes before the drop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start all these tasks. And you know, you can go up here and because I checked them off, you can also start them here. What you wanna see is creating checkout, like you just saw, checkout created. You'll usually see Q2 and it'll say past Q. Um, and then you'll go to monitoring. That's okay. That is what you wanna see on the release. Now, this is two minutes before the drop roughly. The closer we get to say 10 a.m. when a kit releases, what I'm gonna do probably 15 seconds before is I'm gonna drop this delay to something like 444 and I'm gonna click that. Now this is 15 seconds before the drop. I will usually click this right here and I will watch very closely to see when that, when we're close to that time. I will do that. Now say the initial release happens, I'm solving my captures. I'm solving these, I'm solving these, I'm solving these. All of these are either on restock mode or I copped at this point. But say I didn't cop and these are on restock mode. Immediately what I will do if I did not hit on the initial release, which is usually the first 10 to 20 seconds into the drop, after you see your task pick up is I will come here and I won't, do not duplicate local host, but I'll come here and I will duplicate these. And sometimes I'll do it quite a few times, right? Now I have all these tasks running. I will start these tasks immediately and I go straight back to solving the checkpoint captions. Now what's gonna happen is, is these are all going to go to, these are all going to go straight into restock mode, right? And you're gonna see some of these tasks start to turn purple, which means that they're trying to get the shipping rates, they're trying to submit billing. If you leave these running long enough and you're solving these checkout captures, on a good day, what should happen and what you see a lot of the times in my video is these will turn to processing. When they turn to processing, it's like 90% chance you've copped. When you see that, you're good, okay? So this is for essentially restocks. I do this 20 seconds after the drop. This is why you will see me running a lot of tasks on Shopify and some of my clips uh, of my live cops. It's because I've duplicated the tasks and I'm running for restocks. You've seen me hit many times like this. You've seen me hit multiple pairs on Shopify like this. This is the meat and potatoes to Shopify, guys. I'm giving this to you. I don't know any other YouTuber that's gonna sit here and tell you exactly how they do their setup and how they cop. I wanna see you guys cop. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna cover my body group once again, and I covered this in a lot of videos, but I just wanna do this so I'm as transparent as possible and so you guys understand what you 
get by joining or what you could get by joining. Now we're a body group. We offer one-on-one -on -one support, unlimited voice chat, screen sharing, video chat, whatever you need, anytime you need help, you create a ticket, we jump in voice, we you know, we'll type if you need us to type or we'll screen share with you to do whatever we can to help you start cooking. And we have a ton of success as you see here, which I'm gonna post on the screen. This was from yesterday's kit drop. A lot of these people have never even bought it before and they're already cooking multiples on Shopify. Uh, we help you just destroy every release. Now we also post drop information. We post restock information. Every time there's a foot site restock, we ping that as well. So there's a lot of features that you get in your normal cook group. I don't consider us a cook group. We are a body group or a support group. We help you, but we're probably better than most cook groups you're in already as it is without monitors. Now we are getting monitors uh, on the 1st or the 2nd of September and they're the fastest monitors you can get. These are gonna be Twitter monitors, Shopify monitors, foot site monitors, sneaker monitors, you name it, all monitors, mesh monitors, uh, the whole nine. So they are gonna be great. Um, if you wanna join, the link is on the screen. There's limited spots uh, available, unfortunately. I've restocked a ton of these and I said I wasn't going to, but we are helping a lot of members and they are starting to cook and they are getting the hang of it very fast. So we are able to expand a little bit. Um, unfortunately, probably after this, and I know I say this in a lot of videos, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be the case, but I just wanna give you guys a warning in case it is. I don't want anybody to miss out. We might not restock for a while after this restock. Uh, I'm not 100%. But I just want to say that up front. So if you want to join, go ahead and join. Uh, it's thirty dollars a month, not three dollars a month. Don't join the three unless you just want general chat, um, which you know isn't one-on-one -on -one support. So just join the right one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for one thousand subscribers, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.